Alright, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but this is the best way that I can do this right now. I'm having to use a different type of software other than screencast to try to capture this. So what I'm going to do real quick is try to make something asymmetric here where you wouldn't be able to just flip it over and use it on the opposite side. Let's do something like this. I have no idea what your piece actually looks like, so bear with me for a sec. <coughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be slapping dimensions on here. Yeah, I don't know why screencast wasn't working. It's uh it's a lot smoother than the one I'm using now. This like won't let me rotate very well and does some weird stuff like that. I don't even know what that dimension was too, but whatever. Uh, I'm sure that sounds good. And then uh, cool and I'm gonna slow up one dimension on there. It's not really necessary that I mention all this out, I just kinda wanna for demonstration purposes, I guess. <clears throat> so I'm going to do one like that. I'll make this sketch visible again and do one like this. Alright. So there, there's your piece that can't just be flipped over and used on the opposite side. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into my assembly here. There she is. Alright, I want one See, well, let me rotate. Uh, well, it does, but it's bad. So then what I want to do, I want one that's opposite hand. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press Alt, G, M. That's going to bring up the Make Part tab, but uh, Command, which is also right there. I just want the solid. Um, I don't want that. I'm going to tell it where to place it, which I'm just going to put on my desktop. And I'm going to call it Roller. Oh, Roller. Roller. I think I'm going to jig, uh, I'm going to say opposite or something like that. Say OK. <clears throat> there, now I've got my roller thingamajig in here. And you'll see, so this is what you get in your browser. This is now derived. I've just, just done the derived step. I now have a second part file that references the first that holds, contains all its geometry. To get it opposite, I'm going to do mirror, which is control shift M and or the mirror command right there. I want to switch this to a solid. I'm going to grab the origin plane for the mirror surface um, or mirror plane. Uh, it's tempting to use geometry, but uh, moving forward as you go, unless you don't, uh, if you don't already know this, you probably want to stray from using geometry for things like mirrors and things like that in case something changes. Um, anywho, so you get to this point and then. Uh, it's showing my preview. I'm going to say remove original. I'm going to check that box. Say OK. There's your opposite hand. I can come over here and drop this into my assembly. And there you go. Um, constrain them, which I don't really feel too compelled to do, but I'll do it. Um, especially since I can't rotate very well thanks to this software. And I think I paid for it too. I really hope Screencast can come around pretty soon and start working. Anyway, so there you go. That's, uh, and it references the first one. So if I come over here, let's say I change, uh, you go, oh man, it needs to be t uh, taller. <laughs> I don't know. And I do that, and then, oh, this back side needs to be like twice as, oh, uh oh, what have I done? No, this one needs to change. <laughs> Fumbling around here. Okay, so you do all that. You, okay, that, that one's not. Come over here, this one's, well, did it already update? No, no, it didn't. Um, you see, you get that red lightning bolt. So I come over here, I click update, there it goes, full size. Same same as the opposite one, so there you go. And that's how it's done. So hopefully this helps, hopefully this works the way I'm thinking it's going to. Um, okay then, take care.